più drei farfaloni amoroso, notte giorno di torno girano, delle belle torbando al riposo, ma ci setto a tuo cibo d'amor, delle belle torbando al riposo, ma ci setto a tuo cibo d'amor. Questi bei panachini, quel cappello leggero galante, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante. Hey everyone, Joel Anster, today we're in Kingston, Ontario. Yes, Kingston, Ontario, outside. Paradiso Pizza, yes, Paradiso Pizza. Today we're at their Division Street location. I guess this is like the bigger main location. So today we're here to do their pizza challenge. Yes, this is an almost undefeated pizza challenge. Being this is a 10 pound, yes, 10 pound, 27 inch pizza, which includes two kilograms of dough. We have over a pound and a half of cheese, plus the toppings, the sauces, etc., etc. For this challenge, we are gonna have one hour to complete it to get the meal for free, and also a sweet t-shirt and a hat and a 100 $100 gift card. However, if we fail, we will be facing the $30 price tag. Yeah, which I will say, that's super affordable. Only 30 bucks for this giant, giant pizza. Besides that, the rules are pretty simple. This place is definitely well known. There are three locations around. They have not only the pizzas, but they have pastas, a whole bunch of other kind of real Italian specialty dishes. So uh, I don't know, let's head on in. Let's have some fun. Let's eat some food. Wish me luck. I have, I have not done a challenge in a while. It's been a long time off, and it's going to be a very big, big, big one. Like I said, only one winner in over 50 attempts. So that Let's head on in, let's have some needs food, and let's go eat. We're also here with the pizza. It is definitely, definitely, definitely huge. Uh, I went with half green peppers, and I went with half ham. I think that's kind of my standard toppings. I really like it. Anyway, it looks delicious, smells delicious. Guys, there is, this is a big, big, big pizza, I'll tell you that much. Um, definitely a good crust on it, but it smells good. They make their own sauce here, which I'm super excited for. I definitely got myself a dish. You know I love my sauce. But that's what it got, so 60 minutes. Um, so about that, wish us luck. We're gonna start here just momentarily, but that's about it. So, almost undefeated. Let's get it. Hardy runs how we can start it. We'll say at the count of, big slice by the way, five, four, three, two, one. Let us eat. <laughs> Pause for a second. Yeah. That's a great tasting sauce. Really, really dry. I guess there's another maker here. Mm. Nice crisp on that crust as well. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at Paradiso Pizza in Kingston, Ontario, taking on their big pizza challenge. Um, so this is a very large challenge. Originally when I first heard of this challenge, I was uh, familiar with it being about seven pounds as per foodchallenges.com. However, when I contacted the restaurant, they said it was about 10 pounds. And that's what it was. It was a legit 10 pounds. They weighed out the dough, they weighed out the cheese, they weighed out the sauce and the ingredients. So it is a 10 pound pizza. You know, it's been a long time since I had a good pizza. Really it good. Dipping dish. Mm. Oh yeah. Great sauce. Good day. I also really appreciated the accuracy of, again, when they said it was 10 pounds, it actually was 10 pounds, um, and so that was definitely true. So you know what you're getting, you're getting a solid 10 pound pizza. So definitely a really, really cool place. Um, again, strong Italian Sicilian roots, and the flavors were also really, really nice. Like I got a shot of that pizza sauce. I could not get enough of it. After I tasted it, every bite I wanted to just have more and more and more. I love pizza sauces, and when it is a good pizza and with a good sauce, it is just fantastic. And look, I mean, just huge pieces. Giant slices. This is the size of their standard slice. Mm -hmm. 
So for the challenge, we had the one hour time limit in order to get the meal for free. Also shout out the like $30 price tag or whatever for the challenge. Like that is the cheapest pizza, like in incredibly, incredibly good deal um, to encourage people to do the challenge. Uh, that being said, um, one hour to complete it. Definitely an expert level challenge being the size and the weight. The time limit is definitely sufficient. I think the one hour is a great time limit for it, but you have to be able to eat 10 pounds of pizza. Now you are allowed up to three toppings um, on the pizza, or I mean, I'm sure you could hypothetically have more, but standardly it's up to three uh, toppings and you can pick, but you could pick one topping, you could pick two topping. I went with green peppers and ham, just as per my preference. Um, I really enjoy those flavors and when I'm doing a pizza challenge, that's generally what I choose. And as I find they are options kind of from a strategic point um, are less kind of greasy, oily. Um, so like I enjoy that. Whereas, you know, sometimes if you go with pepperoni or ground beef, there's a lot of extra grease and it can seem heavier in your stomach. Um, so this is, these are just kind of my preferred toppings. So I get a little bit of protein, get some fiber and I like the flavors. What can I say? Besides that, um, I think the rules are pretty straightforward. Again, you do get a t-shirt, a hat and a hundred dollar gift card. So it's a really good prize as long with the free pizza. All right, we're about four minutes in. Definitely got a good jaw workout. Like I said, there's some really good like crust on this. Really nice crisp as well though. That's a lot of food guys. This is no shortage, no shortage of food. Like I said, big slices. Big slices. This also is in fact the biggest pizza in Kingston, Ontario, uh, which Kingston, if you're not familiar, is kind of like in between Toronto and Ottawa. I guess that's probably kind of how you describe it. That's generally where you trek through there. Um, we talk a little bit about it here uh, a little bit later, what it's kind of known for, so I'll leave it at that. Um, but yeah, definitely, like I said, a very large pizza challenge. Um, they also had some really cool, unique kind of Italian specialty food items here that I've never had before or heard of before. So I'd hope that I'd at least be able to take one of those to go, maybe I'd try them if I had room. Although I really knew I was going to be in for quite a challenge, uh, like literally quite a bit of a struggle when we saw how large this pizza was. Um, but ultimately, I believe that's pretty much the majority of the information. Like we said, a solid 10 pound pizza, one hour to complete it really good prizes i mean again if you can beat this challenge the payoff and reward is fantastic it's huge they do have three different locations i think you could do the challenge at any location um uh, however you better double check that again this is kind of their main location that's where i did it um, but yeah overall like i said really solid pizza um, quick question for you though so there's a big kind of battle or you know there's always that fight between a thin crust and a thick crust pizza this one I call kind of like a medium slash thicker crust. Um, well, I'd say medium. This is like a medium thickness, not overly thin, not overly thick. But comment down below if you are a thick crust pizza person or a thin crust pizza person. So give me a hashtag thick or a hashtag thin. And at that, ultimately, like I said, hashtag thick or hashtag thin. And with that, let's get to the rest of the video. Ooh. All right, guys. Slowly but surely making our way. Coming on about seven minutes. Still can't believe how big these slices are. But it is very delicious. Very much enjoying it. The one gentleman that beat it, how long um, how long did this time take? Do you know? 44 minutes. 44 minutes. So there is a record. You're destroying it so far.
Alright. Oh, thanks, my friend. Beautiful. Re up on the sauce. Four pieces left. Save the hand for last. I still can't believe how big these slices are. The ham's really good. Real nice flavor on that. Yeah, I really like that sauce. Beautiful flavor. For me, that's a big part. Toppings are great, dough is great, and the good sauce just tops it off. Five down, three to go. Making our way slowly but surely. I think right now we're sitting about, we're coming on 13 minutes. Whew. A lot of food though, I'll tell you how much. A lot of food, a lot of pizza. Put it Compliments to the chef. Chef, cook, pizza cook, okay. pizza chef, pizza all, <laughs> all the above. About 13 and a half, I think. How do you feel? Hmm? I'm not hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, a great pizza goes really well with the Pepsi. I, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm biased maybe. I am a Pepsi person. Comment down below whether you're a Pepsi or a Coke person, but yeah, this pairing, big pizza, and, and like a, you know, Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi, hard to beat.
I remember about 20 minutes in. Woo! A lot of that pizza. It is very delicious. But this thing is huge. It really is. Like I said, definitely a lot of weight on this. Seeing it, I was like, that's big. Eating it, I'm like, that's really, really big. But like I said, last slice, guys. Oh, let's get her down. The biggest pizza you can get in Kingston. The biggest pizza in Kingston? Lego guys, the biggest pizza in Kingston. What's Kingston known for besides the university? Limestone. Limestone? Jails. Okay. <laughs> I think there was like eight jails here. Oh, really? Yeah. We shut a couple down this. It's a stop on the poker right here. Yeah. So gambling, partying, <laughs> jails, I'm just kidding. Getting all of it. It's got everything the big cities have, but it's a small city feel. What's the population? Uh, where are we at? 148. No, I'll check right now. Probably 148. Okay. Okay. It's actually my first time in Kingston, actually. So there we go. And I'm treated with a good pizza. Ooh. A lot of pizza, everybody. A lot of pizza. We will leave no doubt to that. And with that, we are done. Ooh. Definitely got a bit there, hold on. A little better. All right, so just finished up that challenge, everybody. Somewhere about, let's say 20, 25 something? Yeah. yeah, I think somewhere about just under, I think just under 26 minutes. Um, that was a big pizza. Giant, giant in fact. I, like, that was way bigger than I anticipated. Definitely a lot heavier. Like I said, there's definitely a lot of crust on that. I tell you, when you're buying your slice, you're definitely getting your value's worth. Um, that is, that could, feed, that could feed a lot of people. Like a lot, a lot of people. How many think that feeds? Like 10, 12 people? Uh, we cut it to 16. 16, 16 people. There you go, guys. 
to that one for completing the challenge we do get the meal for free which is pretty cool um, we do have a new record um, we get a hat a t-shirt and a hundred dollar gift card so <clears throat> excuse me there's that bird puzzle for so that if you're ever in the area definitely stop them by like i said there are three locations uh, but yeah paradiso really really great pizza i really like this i know they had a couple other uh, kind of specialty items on the menu that maybe i'll try a bite of maybe maybe you know again it's kind of an authentic italian place after all um but that everyone thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video um like i said tune on in i might try another bite here and uh like that let me go order that all right so here i got two dishes which i guess are apparently just sicilian through and through so I have a schiacciata, yes, schiacciata. You probably maybe aren't familiar with what that is. I wasn't either prior. But essentially what it is, is it's, they take they cook dough, so it becomes like a crust here. This might make sense if I like pick one up. So it becomes kind of like a crust, and they haul it the inside, basically make it into like a sandwich and cook it again. So this one I have uh, some of the traditional items. We got like um, tomatoes, there is ham in there, cheese of course, olives. A beautiful, like, you know, just this floral scent of the olives, the salt, pepper, a bit of oil as well. So kind of like a sandwich slash pizza is kind of how I would describe it. Um, but it looks really good. It is very, very hot. I'm going to come back to it. It's just absolutely rolling steam. I don't know if you can see that there. And then we have the arancini, which is basically like a rice ball. Um, or like a risotto ball. Now this one is a spinach and cream cheese, and then it's on uh, top of some delicious looking sauce here. So I'm just gonna give these a try, because, I mean, you can't come to a Sicilian family-owned restaurant and not try what they're calling the real authentic Sicilian items. So if you're not familiar, a uh, arancini, which is again, kind of like a rice ball, um, basically battered, deep fried. This one looks very very good beautiful color in there and again spinach and cream cheese i have no clue what that's going to taste like but uh there was a number of different items this is what they recommended so let's try mm. Woo. okay so it's very rich beautiful richness also the sweetness coming from the inside of that the the rice on there Okay, here, as we break into the ball, you can see all the cheese, the cream cheese, the spinach in there. That is just a great big, nice little pocket of flavor, I'm sure. So let's try it with all that cheesy, spinachy, cream cheesy dish, niss, niss dish, all that stuff. Mm. Okay. Mm. Actually, that's... Yeah, cream cheese, a little bit of that tomato, that acidity from that sauce, and that sweetness of that rice, that's very good. That's filling though. I can see how like, this is a dish by itself, that is definitely for sure. Like I said, I just ate a big pizza, I don't need that much food, so I just, I did just try that. I wanted to try, it's very, very delicious. Uh, that being said, let's try this schiacciata, um, but this was really good, then, you know, we can always take this to go. Save it for later, guys. It was, uh... That's very good though. I'm very, very impressed. If I wasn't so full of that pizza, I would definitely be devouring that thing. But let's try the piece of the schiacciata. So it looks very, very good. Like I said, I'm almost getting like, again, it's like sandwich vibes. And then with like a crusty dough shell. It's kind of the, the way I would describe it. And like I said, I've never heard of one of these before. So it's pretty, pretty cool, pretty exciting guys. Taste of the world. Um, it smells really good, like I said, olives for sure. Mmm. Woo! Okay. Mmm. The olives, that salt, pepper, that oil, that ham. Mmm. That is flavorful. Holy cow, that is flavorful. Lots of cheese. Look at that cheese pull. Look at that cheese pull, guys. Crazy. Mmm. Mm. Right, that is very, very impressive, though. Mm. Great flavor. Great flavor. Anyway, that, everybody.
Very delicious. Paradiso, would recommend. This is awesome. Super impressed. The pizza was also great. So huge thanks to all the staff here, guys. They've been absolutely fantastic. Super friendly. I'd definitely come back here when I'm in Kingston. So, and that anyone, hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, next time, say happy, only hungry, happy eating. Try a scachata, guys. Beautiful, beautiful item. I like this one. What's the, what's this one called? Scachata. The scachata, is it like, what's the type of it? Like, what's the filling? That's just the one. Just the standard? Just the standard. There you go, guys. Just try the standard, standard scachata. Definitely recommend. You can take my recommendation for it. Um, but yeah, beautiful. Till next time, everybody. That's about it. So, at that. Have a good day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.